Hey there, welcome to another Showgirl Story Time. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an experience I had in Jubilee, and I think it was out of the ordinary. I don't think it ever happened to anybody, actually, in the whole run of the show, but I will find out if it ever was the case for anyone else. So this, because it's the month of love and everyone's in love and should be in love and self-love, all of that stuff, I wanted to share about the act called Love in Jubilee. Now, love was a little mini adagio. I say mini because it wasn't big, crazy overhead lifts, but it was a little pot of dough between a man and a woman that basically was created just to fill the space so that the dancers and the uh, the dancers could change costumes and then the crew could move the sets behind the scenes. So we performed on the front part of the stage and there were a bunch of the short blue bells that were doing their group and we did between, I think it was rail two and two on both sides, our little pas de deux. And I was chosen to understudy that spot. It was a principal spot. Uh, I was chosen to understudy with my partner, Andrew, and we just gelled. We worked so well together. It was like a dream to partner with Andrew. <laughs> my whole costume was designed and made for me, which was really exciting to be part of that process. And Marlena helped us choreograph the number together, basically to show our strengths as dancers and as a couple. And then I remember the, um, the audition for Fluff. We did it in between shows one day for her and she watched us do our little number and she said, okay, you guys are ready. You guys can do it tomorrow. And one thing she said, Athena, one little quick note, uh, don't sickle your foot <laughs> when you're pointing your toes. And I was like, that was one of my issues as a dancer my entire career was because I have kind of bow legs on my, my lower part of my legs. And so when I point my toes straight, it looks like I'm sickling my foot, which uh, when, if you're a dancer, you sickle your foot, you're, you point your foot and it's kind of like turned in instead of just like a straight, beautiful line. So I had to, my entire career, wing my feet. And I, I believe that's why I, have such strong ankles and never su never suffered an ankle injury was because I had that kind of strength to wing the foot. That's a, a whole dancer thing. Anyway, so we got to perform the number and anytime the couple, hmm, who was it? I think it was Samantha and Jill who did it when I was in the show and it, various couples did it. Um, then when Samantha left, Linda Green did it with Brett Heine. And then uh, after she left, it became me and Andrew's number. And we did that full time for that last six months uh, that we were both in the show because we both left at the same time. All the costumes were turquoise and gold with ruby accents, gold accents. I am, I'm gonna make a whole other video about the costume creation because that was a story on its own but we did it as often as they would let us and it was just always so fun to do. I'm really sad I don't actually have a video of that one because it was, it was just, it was lovely. We really were a beautiful couple together, which is why we got promoted together. <laughs> so that was cool. But on this one particular day, I believe I was a principal already, but I remember Fluff calling me into the office and saying, Athena, there's nobody here to do love. You're going to have to do a solo. And I was like, uh, <laughs> okay. And it, this was like during warm up, the day of the show. And I was just like, okay, I'll figure it out. And so <laughs> I went into the principal dressing room. And I was like, Marlena, what the hell do I do? And both her and Linda, they both said, just do a beautiful, uh, uh, like ballet, very, lots of ballet movements and developes and turns and you'll be fine. And I was like, 
okay. <laughs> so I got the music and I went out, uh, I think it was before warm up when I was just like, all right, we're just gonna throw something together. And I know the music really well, like I could still hear it in my head. And I was like, I'll just figure it out. So <laughs> I was like, all right, I haven't gotten to dance and, and show my, my, my strengths as a dancer for quite a while. So I'm just gonna just throw it out on the stage. And I think the act was only like a minute and a half. So it wasn't terribly difficult to create a one and a half minute variation, <laughs> a ballet variation. And I went out there, I flew out there because the, the opening in, in the opening, the first thing is we run in towards each other and we meet and he lifts me up. And then we do these little turns away and then we come together and then we turn away and then we come together and we do one last lift and then we do all these pretty things. And so I kind of mimicked that flow with my choreography. So I came running in and I did a giant split leap and I did all of these giant arabesques and torgetes and turns. And then I finished with Italian fuetes, which are when you like kick your leg up and then you turn around and you do this beautiful attitude. And I almost died because I hadn't done anything so aerobic in a couple of years. <laughs> so, but it was so fun and I was so like, Afterwards, it was it was very empowering to be trusted to just come up with my own choreography and then to do it that day in the show. And Fluff came and said, okay, very good. You'll do that again later. So I, I changed it up a little bit. It felt better the second show because I knew what I was doing. It was already in my body. And then I changed it to um, regular fuetes because the Italian fuetes are very difficult and I felt a lot of jiggle because not only <laughs> was I alone, but I was also topless. I was in my costume, which had this beautiful collar with a, a cape and then a G-string. And no, there was no pasties, there's no body chain or anything. So my boobs were out and doing all of these jumps and things like boobs were flying. <laughs> not that I have big boobs. So I changed the turns to regular fuete turns, which are the, the big turns that the woman does at the end of a, a pas de deux, where she's like spinning around and she's kicking her leg out and turning and kicking her leg out and turning, if, if you're not aware of fuetes. <laughs> and then I finished and I, I, you know, I was like, that was really the, like, that was fun to be able to change up my regular every day with something that was just thrown at me and it was, it was fantastic. So that is the story of how I got to do love as a solo, even though it was originally created to be a part of the love between a man and a woman. So <sighs> thank you for watching this video of Showgirl Storytime. Some of my stories that I share about my time in the Don Arden production Jubilee at Valley's Las Vegas. <sighs> if you want to see more of these videos, I have over a hundred posts that I've created for my patrons in this little community here on Patreon. You just pledge $5, $10, $25, whatever you feel that you want to contribute to me and building this sparkly world and on this sparkly journey. So if you'd like to see more of these videos, please consider becoming a patron. If you are not ready to commit <laughs> and you want to get to know me a little bit better, I have a weekly email I send out every week to my email list. And I talk about what's going on in my life. I do a little uplifting and I share about things I'm creating. So I have a whole vlog series on my website that I'm talking about all the costumes from the inspiration, the process, and the final cost of each costume I've made. <sighs> It's a lot. <laughs> and I also share the weekly podcast so you know when it's up, if you haven't subscribed yet. And I just, I share just bits of me that I don't share anywhere else because it's nice to have a, a, a safer community to share that. So that's what I do with my email newsletter. And if you sign up for the email newsletter, you will receive these free 
sparkly phone wallpapers. You just put them on your screen, your lock screen or your home screen, and you'll have your daily showgirl inspiration. Uh, I made a series of words with feathers and sparkles to uplift and inspire for you to tap into your inner showgirl. So if you're interested in receiving those, you can download them by going to, I'll share the link below. <laughs> Or if you just pop over to showgirls.life, you will uh, immediately, like, I think it'll, immediately they'll pop up, uh, comes in to join the email newsletter. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.